A continuación presentamos el devocional diario por el pastor José Manuel Sierra y traducido al inglés. En español se emite de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias y queda grabado en nuestros canales de Facebook y YouTube. Debajo en la descripción de este vídeo encontrará el enlace para los devocionales en español. My dear brethren, good morning. Welcome as every day to today's devotional. We're going to be reflecting today on a very interesting story, very very beautiful, very well known that is based on the book of Joshua. On chapter 1 of this beautiful book, as of verse 2, we read the following. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I give you as I said to Moses. From the wilderness of the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the Re river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and to the great sea towards going down of the sun shall be your territory. During 40 years, Moses was, Moses was the, without a doubt, the leader of the people. He, he was able to take out of Egypt from a slavery, from a constant humiliation, the people of Israel from Egypt. He took them out with a mighty hand. They saw the mighty hand of God, miracles that were unrepeatable in history. And at the Mount of Sinai, the people waited while he was on the Mount praying in fellowship with God, receiving the law, the Torah. And during 40 years, he shepherded them. He taught the, them the commandments, the precepts, everything that God expected and wanted them to fulfill. But as you well know, because of an act of disobedience, God punishes him and prevents him from entering and take possession of the promised land. The objective was not to only get out of slavery and being in the desert preparing and training themselves and receiving the word of God. The objective was really to enter the land of Cana and to take possession of it. But like Moses did not manage to enter, Joshua, that faithful man who was waiting for a long time, waiting for his opportunity, and at the same time he was preparing himself, once Moses disappears, automatically God speaks to him. God had not sp spoken to him because Joshua had to, to wait his moment, and it was unfortunate situations. And we see when people do not know how to wait in, on God, they are such in a hurry and they have so much desire to serve the Lord that they're not capable of waiting on the Lord. And they forgot that Joshua had to wait his own moment, but they were not lost moments. They were training moments. They were things. Elijah had to wait their time until Elijah disappeared from the prophetic scene. The disciple had to wait until the Lord Jesus Christ said, go all over the world and preach the gospel. We all have to wait in life. Life is a continuous wait. But in order to serve the Lord, we have to learn how to wait. Because how many times we have seen unfortunate people that because they don't want to wait or prepare themselves correctly, they just launch to that supposed call that they had received and they open a church and they number themselves a pastors and they buy chairs and now they put their suit and tie and they pass from being a regular brother in the church inclusively even creating great problems and now he's a pastor of a church that is like a person who wants to be a doctor but he's not willing to study and to prepare for years and years and overnight he opens his office and he says i'm a doctor and the other one says, I'm a teacher of this or I'm a teacher of that. What little fear of God, what little knowledge, and that what lack of maturity some people have to proclaim themselves pastors and put themselves in first line of the ministry, trying to serve God, and then things happen. 
people that are hurt, churches that they open and then close, people that supposedly had a calling from God, but as soon as they have power and they have people, and even with some resources, financially speaking, they success goes to their heads and they get spoiled, apart from the damage that they cause others. That did not happen to Joshua. Joshua gives us an example of how he knew how to wait on God's time until the Lord takes Moses to his presence and then he receives the calling, the backing and the support of God to introduce the tribes of Israel to the promised land, to the people of God. Once they conquer the land, they had to distribute it to the families so that everyone had their portion of land and they could develop their lives and raise their children and their animals. He tells them before entering the promised land which is the territory that they are going to be able to conquer. He says from the desert to the great river Euphrates. The reality is that Israel never took possession of all that territory. The territory of Israel is a territory that is relatively small and it was in the king in the time of King David when they conquer more land but they have never been able to take all the land that the Lord promised them however that was the promise of the Lord and I would like to share this morning the, the following thought if the Lord has promised you something in the word and you have to check that he has promised it to you and not to another person that you're imitating what others do believing that you can also do the same and be blessed if the Lord has given you that promise whatever it may and you're fully convinced and God has confirmed that that promise and that blessing will be yours first learn to wait enjoy yourself in the time of waiting do not rush value everything that you're learning in this time of waiting until the time comes to take possession of the land in this case of the blessing or the promise that the Lord has given you in second place you have to know in what territory God is using you and what territory God is not using you. The Lord tells you from to. It's not that they could go all over the world conquering and doing whatever they wanted, but they had to know what was their territory and where the, what were the limits that the Lord had established for them. And you have to know what are your limits because people want to do everything and then in the end they don't do anything or they do it wrong. You don't have to imitate anyone. You have to listen clearly instructions from the Lord. And if another person and another church and another congregation, the Lord is using it in an area, it does not mean that he's going to use you in that same area. Learn to discover what is the purpose and the calling and the design of God for your life. And do not try to imitate what others are doing so that you can obtain the same results. In the end, the one that we have to imitate, follow, and obey is our God. And there are not two same children. God has a purpose different for you than for another one. But you have to learn to enjoy in what God has given you and also to learn in what God has not called you or has not given you and has not trained you and you will never be able to do. So my dear brethren, this example of Joshua is very good because he knew how to wait. He was not in a rush. He did not try to overthrow, remove Moses from the ministry. But on the contrary, he respected him. He learned, he supported him. So when the time came, he could be fully trained and be a useful instrument in the hands of the Lord and not a dangerous person in the ministry, a person who was not going to fulfill the responsibilities that were assigned to him. Let's ask the Lord the capacity, the spiritual capacity and maturity to know and what time of my life I'm in. There is a time for everything, the Bible says, time to laugh and time to cry, a time to sow and a time to, to reap. There is a time in life for everything. What time are you finding yourself today? Ask the Lord for much wisdom today, fill his, with his word, 
and just study the sacred scriptures and the Lord will show you the, pa the path that you have to follow and also the things that you do not have to follow. Maybe somebody else will do, but you rejoice in what God has given you. My dear brethren, why don't we pray asking the blessing of the Lord for this day, for this weekend that just is going to start and also asking the Lord that he will help us to know what is the function in the body of Christ that I have to develop. Moses was the one who freed the people from slavery. Moses shepherded and instructed the people. Joshua was the one who conquered and distributed the land of Cana in perpetual possession for the people of Israel. Ask the Lord what is the for wisdom to know what is our function, that we fulfill it with joy and happiness because when we fulfill the will of God uh, then we will be happy and therefore we will also be happy blessed heavenly father thank you my lord because of the teachings that we learn and we receive every day we ask you a lot of wisdom lord and a lot of maturity so that we will know the times and we know if it is time to speak or to be silent if it is time to act or time to continue preparing and waiting on you with joy and happiness. Lord, give us a glorious and blessed weekend. Use our lives, guard and keep our hearts, Lord, from bad intentions, from bad words, from bad conversations. Help us, Lord, to please you in everything that we do and say. And we put as always our lives in your hands, knowing that you have the best for us. Bless everyone that is listening this devotional, that our families, our businesses, our children, our ministries are aligned with you and let us be instruments that are useful in your hands at all times. Thank you, Lord, for your love and for the precious work that you are doing every day in our lives. We also give you thanks for everything. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, my dear brethren, let's move forward. Enjoy this weekend that is, is, uh, is in front of us, giving thanks to the Lord for everything and taking every advantage that comes our way to serve him and also let us be prudent and let's have the spiritual discernment to recognize that there are people who have been in trying to imitate the, trying to open new youtube pages and facebook pages instagrams and telegram imitating what we do doing things with the only ob objective to obtain profit and asking for money be careful because we never ask people for money through the networks or any other means there are people who are doing that imitating our name copying our logo be very careful with that and i remind you once again that through our page mi uh, vida nueva Point org, you will find the information necessary about the trips to Israel that we are planning and organizing facing next year because the ones that are this year are completely full. I hope that many of you can travel with us and let's have that beautiful experience. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren, and blessings for all of you on this new day.